and welcome back to the channel. I'm GNG, and in this episode of Breaking Brazil, we are taking on Bahia in the second leg of our Copa Libertadores semi final. We get to the first leg in a moment, and then we take on Fluminense in the league away from home, and that could be an important league game. We do have a league game in between that we play off camera against Gaias, who are in sixth position. Fluminense have gone top actually, so we're actually playing the team that have gone top in our second game of this episode. Uh, since the last episode, we have played four games, I think it is, five games maybe. And uh, our form seemed pretty good. Uh, we took on Kibia first of all. Uh, this is a game that probably tells the story of why we're not fully in the title race because we were 2-0 up at half time. Talisa got two goals for us, 37, and in injury time, we then conceded two, including one with eight minutes to go. Two points thrown away, so a 2-2 draw there. But we followed that up with a game against Atletico Paranense, a 3-2 win here. Again, 2-0 up at half time and sort of collapsed. Uh, but thankfully Adson got a goal to make it 3-1 we conceded again to make it 3-2 but we held on for a 3-2 away win and then it was that first oh sorry we took on Santos first in the league and we got revenge for that defeat early on in the season two goals for Gabriel Veron a 2-1 win there and that made it back to back wins in the league then we took on Bahia in the first leg and it was a defeat and it was looking really bad at the start that man Galapo has now scored seven goals against us this season uh, he scored after four minutes again one Jean Lucas, Jan Lucas uh, made it eight uh, and eight minutes, made it two nil. We're on pull one back, and that's where it stands. So we're two one down going into the first leg, and we're going to need to turn that around to make the final, where it will be against Flamengo for whoever gets through. And then we took on Palmeiras uh, away from home in the league, and a four one away win. Really convincing performance. Z Rafael Talisa scoring again. Uh, Talisa again scoring against Palmeiras. Rayan Leo, and then they got a late one back. So that leaves us in the league. We are in third position. We are now. Five points behind uh, Flamengo, who are second, and Fluminense are two further points ahead. So, yeah, we're outside in the title race, but yeah, we could catch Flamengo, but it's unlikely. But uh, yeah, if we can get this third position uh, wrapped up, that will be a good season, plus the Brazilian Cup, and hopefully an appearance again in the Copa de Libertadores final. But if we're going to do that, we have to turn around a deficit in the second leg away from home. This is the lineup we're going with. One change, really. Uh, Galarza is out injured. He's on the bench, but not fit enough to start. Dodi comes into midfield. Yeah. Can we turn around a goal deficit and make our way back to the Copa Libertadores final? So here we are to take on Bahia, a team that has really had our number this season. They bet us in the Super Cup at the start of the season. They bet us, hammered us in the league. Their striker Galapo, as I said, has scored seven goals against us this season. And uh, he could be a danger threat tonight again. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can keep him quiet and uh, turn around this de deficit. 2-1 down. Not going to be easy. But we're 90 minutes away from the Copa Libertadores final. Free kick here. Talisa gets a ticket. He goes for goal. He hits the cross for Polinho. Oh, he couldn't head it into the empty goal. Keeper got back onto his feet and saves it. Free kick now for Bahia. And they're going to cross this in towards the far post. Can we win it? No, we can't. It's headed onto the roof of the net. I think Fusato had that one covered. Free kick here. Talisa takes it towards the far post. Leo ice the post. Oh, that was a huge chance to get level on Aguirre. It stays 2-1 to them. And here I go for them. Bound to Cauley. Cauley back to Iago. Iago to Ivan and Bahia trying to get an attack going. They're lucky not to be behind on the night. Leo hitting that post. Uh, might have woke them up a bit as they come on the attack here. The back to Lamaza. Veron intercepted now. Can we quickly counter attack Veron? Bring us up the field. He has Talisco with him. Can he square it now? Please square it now. Man over. Malcolm. Malcolm to level things up. Yes, it's in. Malcolm puts us 1 0 up on the night. 2 2 on Agate. What a counter attacking goal that was. Lovely teamwork. No one was selfish, and Malcolm provides the finish. And those three players, uh, Veron, Tatliska, and Malcolm, all players we've brought in over the last season or so, and they link up there. We can see the quality with them. Malcolm with a good finish in off the post. It's all level up. Corner kick, Lucas Pitton takes it towards the near post. Tatliska can't win the header, can Joe Kim? No. Leo, Leo with the shot. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Oh, Leo. Leo has hit the post and the crowd. Pitton. Oh, he runs it out of play, I think. No, it's corner kick. Oh, Leo's hit the post and the crossbar in this first half. The captain has been very unlucky. We have another corner kick here. Pitt on won it. He's going to take it in towards the near post. Head it clear quite easily. And that will probably end the attack, will it? Malcolm brings it forward again, though. He's got one goal already. Here's Emerson Royale. Not confident enough to take the shot. Back to Dodi. Z Raphael. We're going backwards here. Lucas Pitt on. Can he bring us back on the attack? Ah, he needs to get a cross in or something. Do something. No, it's going to go for a throw in. And it stays 2-2. Corner, a free kick from Z Raphael. Oh, near the far post, not one. But Leo will pick up possession for us. 33 minutes gone off this first half. Joey come in space. Oh, he fires it over. We are creating a lot of chances here. Half time here. We are 1 0 up on the night. It's 2 2 on Agra. But look at those chances created. 10 shots, 3 on target. 
61% of possession. We're on top here, but we need to make the most of it. Corner kick on near side here. Emerson Royal to take it towards the near post. Taliska! Yes, we scored! Taliska! Oh, this man can't stop scoring since he's got his full fitness when he signed. And he scored his first goal in the cup. And since then, he has not looked back. That's a huge goal at the near post. Brilliant run down under the keeper. We go 2 0 up on the night and 3 2 up on Agri. kick for Bahia. They were clipped this into the box. Can we get a head to it? No, Ivan. Oh, he heads it over. That was too much of a free header from my liking. We are into five minutes of injury time. We're still a goal ahead. Here's Leo in possession. Plays into Z Raphael. Oh, poor touch from Z Raphael. But he wins it back. Adson, who's come on. Malcolm plays it through to Adson. Can we get a killer goal here? Adson brings us forward. Oh, he couldn't square it. We do have the corner kick. And that will be a chance to take some time off the clock here. Malcolm to take it. And he will take his time. And we have five minutes of injury time. Two and a half with nearly gone now. So no rush here. He whips it in towards that near post. Joe Kim can't win the header. Taliska. Back to Z Raphael to Malcolm. Malcolm into Joachim. Someone just get a shot or we're we going to just retain possession. Here's Leo all the way back to Pastor. We maybe are trying to just take time off the clock. Joachim plays it through to Malcolm. He ta- he's taken down there. Oh, he was nearly true. That was a very cynical foul. And hopefully, again, we can make time off the clock here. Till he's going to take it. He's going to take his time. Is he going to go for goal or try and cross it in? We have a minute and a half left. To get us back into the Copa Libertadores final again against Flamengo. We are the defending champions of course. We're heading for two in a row. If we can get to that final and win it. Not going to be easy of course. But we haven't got there yet. Talisca with the shot. Oh we're there now. We are there now. Oh this man. What a free signing he has turned out to be. The only real shame is that he's 32. But hopefully we can get another season out of him next year. Because he's been brilliant in his half season with us. What a free kick that is. To seal a place in the final. The keeper had no chance. We're going back to the Copa Libertadores final in style, turning round a deficit away from home. Oh, this season could turn out to be magnificent yet. We're still slightly in the title race, although very much an outside shot. We could be champions of South America for the second time in a row. We're back in the final. We've really turned things around. We're waiting for the full time myself. There it is, a 3-0 win on the night. What a performance. Taliska the hero with two goals, but the whole 11 can hold their heads high. We're back in the final. So here we are ahead of going back to league action against Fluminense. And because of some fixtures being moved around with us getting to the final of the Copa Libertadores, we've actually played two league games since that semi-final win. We took on Goyes in a 3-2 win. Uh, not a brilliant performance by any means. We went 1-0 down. We made it 1-1 inside eight minutes. And then uh, Billy Ars here scored for them. Uh, Billy Arse there getting the second goal for guys. Um, Rayan then made it 2-2 and a late winner from Alejandro gave us that win which was a vital win just to keep our momentum going. Then we played a couple of days later against Sao Paulo. We went 1-0 up to Taliska. Taliska made it 1-0. We were 1-0 up at half time. Tired legs really affected us and we gave away a penalty later on. They made it 1-1. We were lucky not to concede to make it 2-1 to them. So yeah, it leaves us in the league table with those points dropped. We're in third position. We have a bit of a gap now to Gramiro. But they have a game in hand. We are three points behind our opponents today, Fluminense. We are now seven points behind uh, Flamengo. I think we're out of the title race. Not enough games. Gap is probably too much. But we have uh, hung on in there. And we have a good chance of finishing third and possibly second if we can get a win today. This is the lineup we're going with. It's uh, our usual strong lineup. Bit of a fitness issue with Leo, but we're going to start him. And yeah, hopefully we can make it another win in the league. Fourth highlight here inside a minute. Throw in for Fluminense and then play to Andre for them. Uh, they are trying to get a win here, of course, to keep the title race going between them and Flamengo. We just want to win to try and comfortably seal third place and give ourselves maybe an outside hope of second as they come down our left hand side here. Getting to the byline, cross comes in. Oh, it hits the post. It goes out again. We get a booted clear. Lucky there. Throw in here, Emerson Royale to take it down to Malcolm and they get a bit of space to get across in. It's a poor one though. No one in there to win that in the air. So Fluminense can come on the attack again. Five minutes into this game. And we're going to force their keeper to go long here. And hopefully we can win it in the air. Plenty of men round it. Emerson Royal wins it. Down to Malcolm. And now we can build an attack. He plays it through to Polino. Back to Joachim. Don't give it away there now. Lucas Pidon. On to Varane. And can we create some good touch there from Varane to give himself a bit of space to run into. Now can he get across? He can. Taliska heads it. Oh, just wide. Oh, you would have backed him to score the form he's in. Lucas Pitton plays it down to Varane. He's going to take on his full back. No, Pitton will get. No, Pitton in a bit of space now. Goes back to Z Raphael. He just about holds on possession. Now he gets across. Taliska. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, he could have had two goals in this first half. And uh, Fluminense get up the other end. They're on a counter-attack now. Rodriguez for them. 
looking to bring them forward. Can we get our men back? We have at the moment. Cross comes in to the far post and it's headed clear right. Real Rodriguez, he fires wide. Either team could have went ahead there. Corner kick on the far side for Fluminense. Three minutes off the first half remain. Bicycle kick attempt. Oh, it's off target. Uh, nice bit of skill on show, but it's no good. Half time here, nil nil. Uh, we have another shot on target despite dominating possession. They've had a couple of shots on the target. They look maybe more threatening. Hopefully we can improve that in the second half. Fluminense with a free kick early in this half. They play it towards midfield. We can't quite read it. And now they will come on an attack through the middle here. And uh, hopefully we can just get our shape back. A bit worried about tired legs affecting us in this second half. We played three games, or two games, sorry, this week. And they haven't played. Here's the Raphael. Here's Varane. Varane. Talisca is true. Can he finish this time? Oh, he's put it wide again. Oh, where has his scoring boots gone? Fluminense in possession here. We're over the hour mark now as Rodriguez brings them forward again. And they look dangerous here. Are they going to split us open? They play a ball. Oh, Emerson Real really well, reads that well. Now, Rayan, who's come on. Ah, oh, he loses possession. Real is out of position now because he made the forward run. Julio for them. Takes the shot. It's off target. And it'll stay. Nil-nil. Free kick here. And it will be Lucas Pitt on to take it towards the far post. Royal can't get up. Alejandro will keep it for us though, will he? Yeah, he's come on for Tulisca. Poor night for him. Here's Joy Kim now. Joy Kim. Oh, good from the centre back. Now can he get something into the box? He needs support here. He's got no one helping him out. Joy Kim. Really great play. GB. Oh, poor cross. And now Fluminense are going to come on a counter attack. But Leo intercepts it and ends that very quickly and brings us forward again. He plays it to GB. He plays Alejandro in. Alejandro finishes. The flag is up. It'll go to VAR. I'd say it'll be disallowed. Oh, that would have been a big moment here if we got ahead. But I think it's going to be disallowed. The flag did go up and VAR is having a look at it. And yes, goal disallowed here. It stays nil nil. GB brings us back uh, towards the halfway line. But he's made a run now. That's a lovely play. Can he play someone through? GB throws Rayan onto Alejandro. Oh, what a save from the keeper. What a save from the Fluminense keeper. That looked a certain goal for Alejandro. But he got his foot to it and put it around the post. We have the corner kick here with Emerson Royal. He whips it in towards Joachim. It's in! GB! Yes! He gets a goal. He hasn't scored many of late. He hasn't been playing much with the form of Taliska. But he's off the bench here. His 10th goal of the season. And we're ahead with 22 minutes to go. This could be a huge moment. Are we handing the title to Flamengo? Uh, we won't worry about that. What a finish from GB. Came through loads of bodies. Cool finish. We're well, 1-0 up. Fluminense coming on the attack from the kickoff. After that goal, are they going to get an instant reply? Uh, wouldn't surprise me but 21 minutes to go we can just see this attack out then we can maybe see about holding on Rodriguez oh he fires wide huge chance missed free kick here Z Raphael takes it Leo 3 at the far post he takes it down Rayan yes we're tuning it up oh what a performance this is tired legs throughout the team we've made our five substitutions but we could have taken everyone off but we're tuning it up here and it's a huge moment Z Raphael picked out Leo in so much space he squares it to Rayan GB and Rayan are two youth players have scored here and we are 2 0 up. Full time whistle goes here. We have won in the Maracanã a 2 0 win against Fluminense. We closed the gap on second. A huge performance there. Well, a massive win there for us. It leaves us now tied on points with Fluminense. They have a game in hand in second. It does mean Flamengo are almost certainly going to be champions. They are now seven points clear, three games to go off the season. Yeah, I think we've handed them the title, but we can't worry about that. We have an outside chance of finishing second in the league. And that would be real progress for us if we can do that. We have three games remaining this season. And we're going to come back for our final league game against Corinthians at home. They're fifth this season, having a really good season, Corinthians. And then we're going to take on Flamengo, who would probably be Brazilian champions by then. And we're going to take them on in the Copa Libertadores final for the second year running. Can we make it two in a row? If you did enjoy today's episode, please drop a like on the video. Oh, it's good to see more likes and that people are enjoying them. Don't forget to leave any feedback you have in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Really helps the channel to grow and helps you catch every video in this Breaking Brazil series. There is also a playlist on the channel. You can catch up on everything that's happened so far here at Vasco. And until the next episode, please take it easy. Yeah.